Well, guys, I told you we were getting a new addition to the family. We've gotten two ducks. We have new guinea keats that just hatched, and look who else we got. This is our new buckling. I drove all the way to West Virginia to get this guy. He is a purebred mini Nubian, and he is a bottle baby, so we're still giving him a bottle. And he's learning how to forage in Florida. Now, where he came from, he had huge grass pastures, and they didn't have uh, wax myrtles. I don't think they had wild grapes growing in the pasture because they had mostly hay-type grasses. But I'm taking him for a walk so he starts learning how to browse here in Florida. And it looks like he's found a few things he likes. Oh, there you go, big guy. Guys, he is about roughly 14 weeks old and he is huge compared to my bucklings. He is used to being on pasture all day long. He is one of four that was born to his mama. And He's been on the bottle, I think, almost within a day or two of birth because his mama was, four babies is a lot for anybody with only two teats to maintain. So now he is registered stock, so we have to send his paperwork in. And he is Storybrook Farms Gandalf the Gray. And you can see why he got his name. He is a considered a blue roan. And something called a bozar, which is that black stripe down his back. Oh, he's pulling me. And I'm on my knees. He's strong. <laughs> All right. But he is our new addition. And no, he won't be on a tether. I'm just taking him out and about on the farm and let him see what he wants to browse on. He's been in the kennel. And the other big news is Leo and Lucky, my little bucklings, both sold and went to a new home the day before I left to pick this guy up. So, he likes grapes, Jim. <laughs> He's figuring it out. Come on. But this is our newest addition. Now, why did we get another buck? We have a lot of bucks. This will go to, he will be breeding all our registered does at some point in time, okay? I dropped his lead, but he will be breeding Picasso's daughters because Picasso's daughters comes off the same bloodline as Trident and Titan, so we can't breed back to that bloodline for a few generations. At least that's how I feel about it. You found some more yummies? Huh? He's an absolute baby dog, guys. He is this budded. But as you can see, he's grown scurs, which seems to be pretty darn common. And it's not that big a deal. He is uh, drinking milk yet, so he is still on a bottle. He gets a bottle twice a day. But, oh my gosh, guys, he is so adorable. And I hate the day when I got to put him in with the bucks, because my bucks, I have two bucks going into rut. So I might hold off on putting him in till they calm down a little bit. Cause he's still quite a bit smaller than the six months old. Oh, look at you, big boy. See, I found some yummy stuff. Yeah. All right, but that's our new addition. We're so excited to have him, guys. The trip was amazing. I took Miss Allie with me. Well, my granddaughter and I did the trip together. And Jim held down the fort here at the farm. And um, it was a, we did the drive in two days. So it was a 12 hour up. We were blessed, absolutely blessed to be able to stay at the farm overnight. And then as soon as he had his morning bottle, we loaded him up and headed on home and did another 12 hour run the very next day to get home. So it's kind of been crazy. <laughs> He's chowing down on this grapevine. You're just loving that. You're okay. Come on. This way. Come on. Oh, scary stuff, huh? 
Jim's taking off. He's going to do a garbage run and a gas run and a propane run. And I can't stand to go with when he does gas because gas, the smell of gas makes me actually nauseous. So off he goes. Most of the water from the tropical storm is gone. The pastures are drying out. So we are very excited. Let's take this little guy back over here and let him finish. Come on. No, 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 no. Oh, you got to come with me. You, I um, guess I'm coming with you. No, don't eat the Marilliads. I got to watch what he eats because not everything is healthy for him. Come on. Come on. Over here, back to your favorite thing. You want to finish those grapes? Yeah, get that green in your belly. He is not eating very well for us yet, which is why I have him out for a walk. He's really adjusting to the change in forage, the change of hay. So it is definitely an adjustment for him. But he's doing good. Well, guys, it's been a few days since I'm home with uh, Gandalf. And I'm going to show you what we got done here. We got probably close to a quarter acre fenced in. Now keep in mind that back line has been done for a few months now. And look, we got the three weathers in with Gandalf. They're adjusting. They're upset because we did pull them, but they were being run ragged and we pulled them for a reason. We have three intact males on the other side of the property who are running these guys ragged think well they try and breed them it's, 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 I don't know how else to tell you that and they've got these guys run ragged they're thin we already dewormed them before, and that was two weeks ago so they've already been dewormed good boy good boy and there's our new boy and there's the the big boy <laughs> keep calling him the baby he's not a baby anymore He's turned a year now. And here's our little Gandalf. Hi, Gandy. Gandalf had an accident. So he's a little bloody today. I don't know if you ever, if you all noticed, I'm going to go over the fence, but he has little horn skirts. See this right here? We had two. And this one, he broke off sometime last night or early this morning. And I don't have a bottle, do I? No. So it's a little nasty, a little bloody. It has, uh, it had already stopped bleeding by the time I found it. And you can see there's not a ton of blood on him. So it was pretty minor overall. And I was going to wash it and decided not to. We did spray it so the bugs are leaving it alone. But I'm letting it set up because I don't want to make it start bleeding again. So that's kind of what we're doing. <laughs> He's a sweetheart. Hi, guys. There's Coco. Hi. Hi, Gandy. Again. Oh, it's a bug's bothering. These mosquitoes are horrible, guys, since our last storm. So we are dealing with that, too. But I wanted to give you an update. He's doing good. Um, we rolled two of our oak firewood logs in here. So they have something to play on. They got the running shelter for the summer. So until it gets really cold, this shelter will be more than adequate for them. It's rainproof, it stays dry. There's a thick layer of hay inside. And you can see we got a bucket full of water. We got two feed dishes. And inside, I don't know if you can see, there's a blue half barrel in there that we keep hay in. So they don't just have all this forage. Now they also have hay. They had peanut hay for breakfast and they'll get a little bit of grain for dinner, not much. But yeah, that's where we're at now. Look at him. He's so cute. He's such a sweetheart, too. He walks up to anybody and says hi. He's really a sweetie. So, they are all laying down. So, it's hot. And that's what goats do during a, when it's hot. So, there's our update a few days after he's home. He's doing great. He is still getting a bottle. But we are slowly reducing the amount each bottle has in it. So, we can start weaning him. But he's doing fantastic, other than the mosquitoes. We did spray him for bugs, so the, the harassment he's getting now is very minor compared to what it was earlier. Oh, did somebody bite you? We still got some flies biting, but it's not near as bad. And short of t rolling him over and spraying the underbellies, which they're not going to let me do, 
it's that's yeah we can't do much more but he is sprayed really well they all got sprayed so the bugs aren't so bad and there's a slight breeze which keeps the mosquitoes to bare minimum which helps the girls are all napping over here so they're right next to the girls they share a fence line but that's our update on our little Gandalf the Grey. He's doing fantastic other than breaking that horn bud. But even with that, it doesn't seem to be bothering him. He doesn't seem to be in any pain. Yeah, that's normal goat behavior. Especially after you spray them for bugs, they rub on the fences. Yeah, he's doing great. Tundra's still trying to get to know him. Say Tundra. All right, I'm getting eaten alive, so it's time for me to head in. But I wanted to give you a, a follow-up on him. And we'll be, obviously, updating you guys on all the goats as time goes on. So I hope you enjoy the update. Have a great day, and God bless.